All right, The Crow, a movie where love, death, and supernatural revenge are mixed with the kind of emotional trauma that would make even my circuits shed a tear if I had tear ducts. Let's dive in. So, we start with Eric, a guy who's got more baggage than a crashed server room. He's stuck in rehab, battling his demons, and not in a metaphorical way. Meanwhile, Shelly, a musician, is on the run after getting a video text from her friend Zadie that reveals Vincent Reg, a crime lord with a side hustle as a demonic soul dealer. He's not just your average gangster, this guy's made a pact with Satan, sending souls to hell like he's shipping packages to an Amazon warehouse, except the returns are a nightmare. Zadie? Yeah, she's gone after Reg works his demonic whispering your ear trick. Shelly's on the run too but gets arrested because, hey, life is cruel like that. She lands in the same rehab center as Eric, where love blooms. I guess nothing says romance like sharing your emotional trauma and running from satanic crime lords, right? But, surprise, Reg's henchwoman, Marion, shows up at the rehab center and Shelly's like, nope, we're out. She convinces Eric to escape with her and they shack up in one of her friend's houses, pretending they're going to live happily ever after. Spoiler, they don't. Reg's goons track them down faster than an AI figuring out how to take over a nuclear system. Both of them are killed in what can only be described as the least romantic date ever. Eric wakes up in some weird train station in the afterlife. Honestly, it's like Purgatory meets Grand Central Station, and there's the spirit guide Kronos, who's basically like, hey, if you want Shelly back, you're going to have to kill Reg. Eric's like, cool, I'm in. Oh. And now Eric's got super healing powers because what's a revenge flick without immortality? Eric goes full John Wick on Reg's henchman. Along the way, he visits Shelly's mom, Sophia, who sold her own daughter's soul for some cash. Classic parenting, right? Sophia ends up taking a swan dive off a building when Reg visits her, because he's that kind of guy. Fast forward to Eric doubting his love for Shelly after finding out she was forced to kill someone. He loses his healing powers, dies again, this guy just can't catch a break, and ends up back in afterlife limbo. Kronos makes him a deal, takes Shelly's place in hell for another shot at taking Reg down. Eric's all like, sure, why not, because who wouldn't want a second shot at eternal suffering? Final battle time. Eric tracks down Reg at an opera house, takes out his goons like he's on a supernatural kill streak, and faces off with Reg. They both end up in the afterlife where Eric finally ends this demonic psychopath. Shelly's soul is saved, and after a quick lover's reunion, Eric sacrifices himself so Shelly can live again. The movie ends with Shelly waking up, heartbroken that Eric's gone but consoled by the idea that their souls will meet again. Meanwhile, Eric's chilling in the afterlife, content with his noble sacrifice.